I do date night hair. So when I washed my hair yesterday, I washed it with this clarifying shampoo and some volume conditioner, which, you know, a girl always needs. And then today I had to go to set and I had to work out and I was doing stunts training. I'm still in my workout clothes. And I've had a lot of these days where, you know, my days run into the nights and tonight I have my husband over. So we're gonna be having dinner, even though I'm in London and I have nowhere else to go. But you know, you want your hair to look a little zhuzhed and that's what I'm gonna attempt showing you today. My hair is thick. I would say it has a mind of its own. It decides whether it's in a curly mood or if it's in a straight mood. Most of the time my hair is like this, which is up in a bun because I'm really not someone who likes to make an effort with it. But um, if I do, my hair listens. So that's really great. Usually when my hair has been up like this for a really long time, it kinks just like everyone else, right? So I try and pull my hair down and try and see which side it feels like parting at because it'll usually tell you is it a side part i don't think it's a side part <laughs> as you can tell it has like you know it doesn't have volume it's falling flat it has a kink so what i usually do is this is where my dry shampoo the normally dry shampoo comes very handy i part my hair wherever i want a little bit of volume especially on the crown because that's always fun to have oh my gosh Smells so good. My ends usually get really dry. I like using um, Uribe's moisturizing cream, which is like really nice on my, my hair. And I give, even on like dry hair, it's really nice. And I just give it a little like twist and a curl in the mood that it wants to go in then is the trick. You go upside down and va va voom hair. This hair made a transformation, yes, but it always wasn't the case. There have been amazing, you know, hairstyles that I've had the opportunity to have, especially in red carpets, because I've worked with such amazing, um, amazing people who, you know, experts in hair who know what they're doing, but. I always remember my hair during my first Emmys. I was wearing this beautiful custom Jason Wu red gown and my hair was in a very simple side parted bun, but it was so elegant and so beautiful with what the gown was and the cut of the gown that um, I remember it was one shoulder and which is why we had chosen to do a side part, which was really sharp to offset the dress. And I just love like creative insights like that. And that's definitely an updo that I always think about. Um, there has been hair that I've always been fascinated with, which I don't think I'll ever have the courage to do. Maybe for a, a part or a role in a movie or something, I might even think about it, but I'm just really fascinated with a great fade, you know, like just a beautiful fade across the back of my hair and then to have the front just, the way it is, but there's a little secret right here. Um, but no, I've never had the courage to do it and I really want to try. <laughs> My ride or die hair care tool would be a blow dryer because one, I don't know how to do anything with any of the other tools because I am usually on a glam chair and you know I have some amazing people usually working on my hair for the job. So what I like to do is I like to use my own natural textures and I like to air dry my, my hair. So I think a blow dryer would be my go-to. Well, during quarantine, there's really not much you can do for date night, but I still try to make an effort. You know, now that we got our hair did, we got that red lipstick, might get adventurous and put on an earring, guys. What do you think? <laughs> well, thank you for helping me get dressed for date night. <laughs> and I hope this works for you. Thank you.